right, I have a great video for you today. We are down fishing with Captain Mark Hollywood Johnson. He gives some really cool tips on how to catch big mangrove snapper inshore, right? These are very tasty fish. They're a lot of fun to catch. And, and he has some really cool tricks on how to, first of all, how to chum efficiently. We're gonna go through that first. And then he shows a cool trick on the type of bait to use to make sure that you catch the biggest ones out there without having to spend a lot of time weeding through the small ones. Here it is. Fishing, I wanna show you guys a brand new product that's out here that has helped replacing the everyday chum bag. It's called the Chum Dinger. It's a very fancy chum box, if you will, made out of starboard, made in the USA, and it's made by veterans. And the nice thing about this, when you fish the chum in here, when you're done at the end of the day, you just shake it, cleans itself. So you'll never have to drag a bag behind the boat or deal with a smelly chum bag. It cleans itself, you dry it off, store it in a hatch, and it's good to go. Another nice thing about this is that over time, all of the mesh bags that we've used for years have a tendency to tear, rip holes in them, come apart, the strings break. This is a pretty industrial chum box. You're not breaking this. All right, so we're gonna open this up. We're gonna deploy a box of chum here. Get my rope out of here. It's built with really nice starboard and stainless screws. You see all this in here put together? Okay. Get my chum bag. Fits a standard block of chum. In there like so. All right, lock this down. A little clip on here. In it goes. So it works like any other chum bag on the shake, but the nice thing about it at the end of the day, it self cleans itself and uh, it's a real nice product and short of you losing it, you'll never wear it out. All right, so stay tuned guys. We're gonna see if we can't catch some, some dinner here with the boys, mangrove snappers. Oh, there's already some fish up. Look right here in the chum slick. That didn't take but two seconds. You can see a lot of smaller mangrove snappers in here. They love that chum. So we're gonna let this chum do its thing for a little bit and we're gonna fish some chunk bait, free line it on a circle hook and see if we can't catch some snappers big enough for dinner. One of the things that we like to do for mangrove snappers is use fresh cut bait. And so when you're out here fishing for keeper size snappers, you can see them busting in the chum slick here already. There's a couple subtle tricks that really make it work. One, we all know snappers love live shrimp. Problem with that is small snappers love live shrimp. So when you have a plethora of snappers behind the boat and you wanna get away from the little ones and try to catch the big ones, you gotta change up your bait. So today we have some fresh ladyfish chunks. We also have some pinfish that we caught earlier. Now pinfish come in all shapes and sizes. Take a fresh pinfish here, and we're gonna make what we call pinfish steaks, pinfish chunks, however you wanna do it. You take your knife, get right up behind the head. That makes a good snapper bait. You get in here and cut it back, about a, call it a half inch across maybe. Get the scales out of the way. Okay, get yourself a chunk. now. One little trick we like to do is sometimes you can get in here and you can see pinfish gets the name from all these sharp fins. You can just cut them off, get them out of the equation. Okay, make yourself a very nice pinfish chunk, pinfish steak, ladyfish chunk, ladyfish steak, live pinfish. You get a bite yet? Oh, yeah. Swimming around down there. Okay. We got the chum going, we got snappers in the chum. And throw a couple what we call freebies. Freebies means it's a chunk bait with no hook in it. You can see the fish shaking around. You can see the snappers. Small snappers will grab it. They run with it. Big snappers will come in and take it away from a small snapper. And that's, uh, that's the advantage of the chunk bait versus the shrimp. The little fish can't eat it, but they can pull it and they can run with it, but they won't take it off the hook like they do a shrimp. So any of this bait here stays on the hook much better than just a shrimp. 
All right, circle hook, chunk of fresh pinfish. You only go in one time. Make sure you come out through the skin. That keeps it pretty durable. Light leader, we're fishing 20 pound fluoro. Three out circle hook, chunk of pinfish, and now you're, there we go. Let's we'll see what we got. There he is, winner, winner, fish for dinner. So mangrove snappers need to be 10 inches overall length to keep. This guy here is probably pushing 11 and change, and he ate that live pinfish, and he's spitting up chum all over. What in the world? You gotta be joking me! The oh one no, one he he has been on point. The one catfish in the spread. All right, one in the well. Catch you a snapper. Ta-da! All right, circle hook, corner of the mouth in the box, but you see how he destroyed that piece of ladyfish. So of all the fresh bait we use, ladyfish is an amazing bait, but it is sometimes a little mushy and soft and fish can really destroy it, but they do like it. So watch out for those teeth, they will bite you. Mangrove snappers can definitely get your attention. There you go. I have to keep it right there. Yes, don't have to measure that one. That nice work. Keeper. That's what we're after. That was a perfect small one. Spitting up it? chum. Eating good. That's a proper mangrove snapper. Tasty. Uh oh. That's not a catfish. We're eating it. Snapper. There he is. That's a nice one. Up and in. Nice That's ones. what we're after. Nice job. Day, yes, sir. So out here in the Gulf, you know, this time of year they're getting ready to spawn, move to the reef, spawn in the grass. We start catching them 12, 13 inches, even a little bigger. That's a that's a, a tasty eating fish right there. And he's got big fangs, like I said before. And yes, they will bite you. Here we go. Here we go. Nice and easy. Lift him right up and in. One, two, three. There we go. I've got three snapper on that, John. That's a nice snapper. That is a snapper, gang. Mangy, mangy. So when you grab a fish flopping around, always be careful of the dorsal. Try to get up underneath his chin. Spin around. There we go. Now that's a proper mangrove snapper. He's pushing 16 inches. He's got the fangs. The circle hook did its job. Fresh ladyfish chunk, and we got him. Nice work. Circle hook, corner of the mouth, big old fangs in there. That is some of the best eating there is. Mangrove snapper. All right. Rod tip here, line up and in. There you go! Baby! Yeah. Woo! Like he inhaled that, huh? He did, too. He ate all of that. Dinner. The bite. Here comes another one up and in. Yes, sir. Up and in. Definitely. It's a great conservation tool if you're going to let fish go or if they were too small or out of season. Hooking that fish in the corner of the mouth gives them a much better survival rate than gut hooking snappers of the old day. There we go. Yellowtail out here in the Gulf. That's a treat. Yellowtail snapper, very popular in all the restaurants down here. Usually caught on the reef out on the offshore up and down all of South Florida. You can guess why they call them yellowtail. Heavily commercially fished, but an amazing fish that keeps the stocks at the right level. They grow very fast and they're very, very tasty. And that's called the yellowtail snapper. That's called the peanut snapper. Looks like a mangrove snapper, he's just smaller. Ah, he bit me, you bum, did you see that? Good fun out here with these two. Uh, All right, here we go. Sometimes snappers are very, what we call sneaky. They get smart, they catch on to what's going on, they don't want to bite. So here's a perfect example again of the circle hook. This guy was an overachiever, too small to keep by far, ate a big chunk bait, hooked in the corner of the mouth, and if he doesn't bite me, we'll let him go. Awesome. Mangrove snapper. Wow. All of a sudden, you guys see, catching the world's smallest snappers, eating the same chunks at the big ones, which is not the norm. These guys are just very feisty and uh, want to bite. Not sure that he could catch one any smaller, but we're going to keep him to the task. All right, well, thanks so much for watching that video. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions on anything that was discussed. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers. And we have two big, bold guarantees 
for the club members. Number one is that we guarantee you're going to catch more fish than you ever have before from the exclusive content that you'll get as an insider member. And then number two is we guarantee you're going to save a ton of money on all the discounts that we have for the club members on tackle and really everything you need to go out and catch inshore slams every trip. For more information, click down below or go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace all by yourself or with your family. Live salt strong and wet a